Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about voxel remesh without bridging. So we need an example. Okay, so you sculpted a hand and the fingers are real nearby or overlapping. So I um, activate the wireframe. So you see here, yeah, the fingers are like this. So, and you want to voxel remesh this. So, I select all the parts here. And I create a clone of this. So, I move the whole thing here in this position and, and look at it, what happens. So... I press here on the voxel remesher here, voxel merge. So I check here the mesh and press voxel merge. So you see here the gaps are yeah, bridged or welded and your fingers are no more separate. So yeah. And you don't want this. Okay, so here this mesh here, when you check it, it's voxel remeshed. But when you um, see the x-ray mode, you see the mesh is separate between the fingers. So like this. And this is the other example. So you see here the mesh here is uh, connected and here are the parts. It's completely different to this one. So you see here uh, there's no overlapping. Okay, and how to do this? So let's go a step back. So first I check the face groups. Maybe it's better to separate the fingers, uh, the face groups of the fingers. So this one is selected and I give it a new color. And the other one I also give a new color. Maybe a little bit different. So now we have different face groups. It's fine later for masking or something. So the next thing is This finger, oops, at the moment, um, this finger here is active. So you need a layer, add a layer. And then you have to create um, a gap between these fingers. So use the move tool and move this finger a little bit away from the other finger. So what happens with a layer? So when you use the layer slider, you see the gap is closed or it's open. Okay, so for the next finger we need the same. We need a, a new layer here and we move the parts a little bit away from the other finger like this okay so now select the whole thing and press voxel merge so we can check the the resolution what we need so so we see no gaps are here and here in the layer slider oops sorry oh, sometimes difficult so here in the layer slider you see here hundred percent and now let's bring the layer 
slider back to the normal position. For sculpting, we use a other layer. So when we want to add details here, so or smoothing, so add a new layer. And now on, on this layer, we can smooth again and uh, make our details. So here I just pick this and smooth the mesh out. So I use here solo mode. So you see here, it's fine. So let's check the X-ray mode. So There's a problem with uh, with moving here. <laughs> so the inside mesh we can also check with the additive uh, view, and I use here inverse culling and two sided off to smooth the inside parts here. So now it's possible to smooth inside uh, the mesh. For 3D printing, maybe that there are no problems. You see here the small gap between the meshes, but I think this is okay. So there's no overlapping, so they are only touching. So let's go back to the opaque view and check the whole thing. So, oops. So now uh, with the face groups, now it is also possible to to mask the parts here of the fingers, and and move the the other mesh so so we can bring it close together. So like this. And if you want another remesh, so it's clear when you remesh now, um, sorry, where is it? When you remesh here now again, so it's bridging. So you have to use your slider, bring it back in position and remesh again. So you always have to build the gap. So yeah, like uh, this here, it's now possible to remesh. So, and bring the slider back. So now you have to smooth again on the other layer. So, smooth this out. But remesh, always use the other layer. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.